Why is it 2020 and I'm only finding this out today? Like you can make things disappear and like right now I'm gonna make this cup disappear like that. Like, <laughs> Wow. Hi, my name is Z and I am not a magician, but I do use a software that does the magic. Hey. Adobe, Adobe should pay me. If you're here for the first time, I love making videos and I love making tutorials on how I make my videos from the gear that I use to the software that I use. So if that's your kind of thing, please do consider subscribing. Uh, and if you've been here before, hey, welcome back. But as you saw in the first video today, I'll be teaching you how to make things disappear inside Adobe Premiere Pro. So before we jump into the software, there are two things to note when you're doing this kind of video. Uh, the first one is you need to use something like a tripod or something that's gonna hold your camera in the same position without it moving or tilting or anything like that. And ideally you wanna use manual settings so that the light doesn't you know, continue changing in your video. The second thing to note is that you have to record two parts of your video. The part that has the subject that you want to make disappear and the part that doesn't have the subject that you want to make disappear. For me, it was this cup or mug, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so just to illustrate that quickly, let's say this was your video and this is the content that's in your video. And let's say you wanted to take away or you wanted to make T and O disappear because your clean canvas that doesn't have the content is your white paper. You want to look for another clean canvas and you know just slap it on top of what you want to make disappear and then you know now you just have bola but it's actually bolato you know so that's the same thing that happened with the video that you watched in the beginning i just put a clean canvas so the moment that i clap my hands i just slapped a clean canvas on top that didn't have the mug in it it'll make sense it'll make sense come on let's jump into the software i'm gonna assume that you already have knowledge on how to use premiere pro if you don't don't cry i have a crush course that i did on how to use premiere pro so you want to watch that right now before you continue so i've already imported my footage uh and the first thing that i want to do is to look for the first part of the video that i was talking and where the cup was so i'm going to double click on my video and then i'm going to choose the part where i actually did a couple of takes so i'm just going to choose one of these takes somewhere here um select my endpoint where i was talking and then select my endpoint when i was done and then i'm going to just click and drag uh so that it creates a timeline so now as you can see it's playing back but when i clap actually nothing is going to happen right because i'm actually not a magician uh but now the second part is looking for that other part of the video where the where the cup was actually not there right so i'm going to you know select my in point there and then select an out point and then i'm just gonna for this video i don't need the audio so i'm just gonna use this icon which allows me to just drag the video instead of the video and audio so i'm gonna drag it there and then what i want to do is i want to make sure that the video where the cup is not there starts at the moment that i actually clap right so i'm just gonna drag this so i clap somewhere here and then i'm gonna drag this video so that it starts there now when i play back you know that's what we have play back again it's now changing the whole video but of course we are not yet there because we haven't put the the magic you know so now what you want to do is use what is called a mask and a mask in premiere pro is pretty much your ability to manipulate a certain part of your footage or image uh, so that you can do whatever you want with it whether it's putting blur or moving it around or yeah whatever it may be so i did it again i forgot to mention something important so reporting live from the future the reason why we're using a mask is so that we can isolate a small area of the video that did not have the cup so that we can just use that to cover the area on the other video that actually did have the cup so that 
we just manipulate that small area whilst not affecting the rest of the other video so that there's a seamless flow which makes it look like both videos were actually shot in the same take. So you want to make sure that you have selected the footage that doesn't have the cup and then you go to effect controls and then you go down to opacity. Remember in Premiere Pro the video layers work in such a way that what's on top is actually what's shown. So right now I'm only seeing what is on top which is the video that doesn't have the cup but I actually can't tell where the cup was so to see I'm just going to load the opacity down to about 50% so that I can see uh, the video that's below it and as you can see now I can see a bit of uh, the cup and now to create the mask you want to go under opacity again click on the pen tool and then just draw a shape you know it doesn't have to be perfect honestly you can just draw whatever kind of shape you want to draw and the moment that you connect the last point with the first point of your mask is going to automatically make what's outside the mask disappear and just keep what's inside the mask so as you can see it's just made what was outside disappear uh, but now we just have what's inside the mask and then if i turn back the opacity to 100 you realize that the cup has disappeared you know but you might want to check for you know just some rough edges as you can see for me here i have uh, a rough edge there uh, and a rough edge somewhere there so to just to soften it up you can use the mask feather just to you know just to pump it up a little bit i'm just gonna pump mine up to about 80 there as you can see it softens up those edges a bit um, just to make it look like it's actually part of the video and and yeah it's not so evident that you slapped something on top of it so now that we have that if we now play it back when i actually clap the cup disappears let's do that again i mean of course this is not like groundbreaking or anything like that i mean this is something that's always been there in the world of uh, making videos but i just want to show you how to do it easily in premiere pro and i mean you can manipulate this in any way um, just being creative with your own ideas you can even make things appear you can reverse this and hey creativity has no bounds right if you love this video uh, please consider subscribing again and please do let me know down in the comments below and also follow me on my instagram if you want to see more of what i've done yeah, <laughs> that's all for me for today. Till next time. Yeah.